Patterns are everywhere. It's really important for children to understand patterns because it helps them see how things fit together and work. In an AB pattern, we have two different materials repeating. So in this pattern, I have a rock and a stick repeating. So here, the rock would be A and the stick would be B. So the pattern would go A, B, A, B, A, B. And that's an AB pattern. In an ABC pattern, we have three different materials repeating. So in this pattern, I'm using the same blocks, but they're different colors. So the red would be A, the green would be B, and the yellow would be C. So this pattern would go A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C. And that is an ABC pattern. When I begin teaching children patterns, I like to give a little example and I will create an AB pattern. I will then ask the children, can you tell me what should come next in the pattern? And I will allow them to tell me what I should place next or even place the item in the pattern themselves. Next, I will ask the children, can you pick some materials and create your own pattern? And I will allow them to create their own pattern. And I usually start by teaching simple AB patterns, but once the children have that down, um, I would do different variations like maybe an ABC pattern or an AABB pattern to extend their learning about patterns. And this is how I teach patterns because it's very important for children to understand and visualize how things fit together and work.